air pollution is one of the most urgent and critical problems that humanity faces today. Many activities that are essential to our progress, our economy and our well-being are very unfortunately associated with generation of pollution. These are manufacturing industry, chemical industry, oil and gas refining industries. They all generate a lot of pollutants that need to be removed or destroyed before they release their exhaust into the air. To remove these pollutants, catalytic converters are currently introduced to the exhaust lines. In the heart of these catalytic converters, there is a catalytic coating, which contains precious metal nanoparticles, which are the active ingredients of the system. The problem is that not all of these nanoparticles are efficiently utilized. Only a fraction of these nanoparticles are being exposed to the exhaust pollutants, and this is the most uh, costly ingredient of the system. Catalytic converter producers spend about 70 to 90 percent of total cost on precious metals. Within probably even 50 years, main sources of platinum, palladium, iridium, metals that are used in catalytic converters would go down or maybe disappear completely. So what we try to do is to think about how to optimize materials based on biological design, based on something that nature has developed through millions of years of evolution. The EBC Institute is supporting broad range of bio-inspired materials, devices and approaches. The design of our cortex is definitely inspired by butterfly wings and it has the same porous architecture. If you look at its microstructure, it is structured in a way that will allow the wing to be aerodynamic, hydrophobic and not become heavy or sticky in the rain. And it also creates the beautiful coloration of the butterfly. Butterfly actually doesn't produce any pigments. We realized we don't have to invent any new chemistry or new materials. We can just structure our materials in a way that will allow much more efficient use of the precious metal nanoparticles based on this uh, bio-inspired principles. We can precisely put them at the interface of the core and make them fully accessible to the exhaust gases. This dramatically improves the performance of this coating, make it much cheaper and accessible. What is really unique about our technology is that it provides plug-and-play solution. There is no need to modify manufacturing process. Our technology can be easily adapted to the current manufacturing processes. I do think that this is a really good example of an approach that does both, that improves cost, economic considerations, and actually purifies air as the outcome of that. We applied for the President's Innovation Challenge and have been pre-selected from over 200 teams to compete with 15 other teams within three different categories. It's a validation of your business vision, it's a validation of your technology already, without even winning this prize. So now we have Open Track Runner Up, Air Crew. <laughs> and it's capable of bridging this very difficult gap between the conception of the idea and being able to commercialize it. So that process, being able to connect that, to build this bridge, is the mission of the VC Institute. If we will see that this technology has transferred into products that make a substantial positive influence uh, on the environment and society, this will be the, the real recognition.